I can't find it. I was looking for it earlier so I could give him some and I couldn't find it. So I think it's under the couch because all of his toys get under the couch. Hi guys. We're vlogging today. Well, I'm vlogging today. Today is Monday, August. What's today's date? No. Tell me. Today is August 16th. Um, I just got home from getting my nails done really quickly. I feel like such a classy woman with this color and shape. I don't know what the color is because I didn't pick it. I just told the lady I wanted something really, really, really natural just because I've been doing like crazy colors the last few times. So she picked it and I didn't get to check to see what color it was. Sorry for my lisp as usual. So I'm back home. It's like three something, I think. Tyler is making a coffee for me because the coffee, we bought an Italian coffee yesterday. Where did we buy this? Marshalls or Home Goods? The coffee, yeah. We got this coffee and we were excited because it's an Italian coffee. There we go. And it's Tuscan, Tuscan tiramisu. Um, so it's just compared to Bustelo, it's not as strong, obviously, but we got it. He made me one this morning. Well, he brewed up like a large batch of it this morning. You have two things in the mail. I'll leave them here. Um, and I got some packages. You know, I'm not supposed to be buying anything. Oh, this is also the Cactus Bungee Cami from Brenda Lynn and Cora. I haven't shown it on YouTube because I just got it. I'll actually bring my packages to the kitchen because that's where I was working from today. Not safe. Peanut butter essentials. Peanut butter, um, Ew. Okay, first package is from a brand called, sorry the light is kind of weird because the window's behind me so it's kind of dark. Top Jewelry, I, um, the girls that started this brand, I've known them for years, we used to work together so they support my brand all the time so I wanted to support theirs. So I ordered a new ankle bracelet because I had bought one from theirs and I messed up the clasp, I like pulled on it when I was sleeping. Um, so they have like a little instruction thing of how to take care of the jewelry. Their thank you cards are super cute. Um, and then there's a little quote. It says, I am destined to achieve my dreams. Super cute. And then there's a little sticker. Then this is the package. And this one is the, I think this is the Gucci link bracelet. Or is this the Mariner? The Gucci Mariner. Yeah. This is it right here. I had a bracelet like this from Brendan and Cora and I broke it after having it for like over a year. And it sucks because we can't get it again. But yeah, I had one of their anklets and I loved it. It was like a snake chain. This is what the links look like. There we go. I broke it in my sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night and it was like off of my foot. I don't know what I did. I think I, I messed up like the clasp. I'll put this on later. I'll leave it linked if they still have it available. I'll just leave their website down below. It's a jewelry, small business. So, yeah. Then we have Amazon. I don't even remember what I ordered. So that's always fun. I wanted to get some new house stuff because I got super inspired um, the other day, two days ago. I kept telling Tyler that I want like a bar in my house because I have a bar cart, but I want like an actual bar. And so I like spiraled on um, Pinterest of like home stuff or whatever we buy our house. So then it made me want to buy some stuff. What are you eating? Oh, fruit? Oh yeah. So I want to get, Tyler's gonna roll his eyes, but I don't care. He's never down with my inventos. But when my house looks magical, 
because he always says that I make the house like a home because we know that's what women do. Wow, these are actually great quality. These are candle um, sticks. So I wanna get candles for like the holidays for Christmas time. I wanna do really traditional Christmas decor this year, like just like pops of red. Very different, I'm not a fan of red, but for Christmas I feel like you have to do it every once in a while. So I wanna get like the long candles um, and just have them for like dinner or whatever, or even if I have them in like an entryway or something. So I got those. And this, this is a heavy box. Can you give me the uh, scissors? Or not? canisters so i ordered canisters because i hate the ones that we have right now oh these got here very fast um so i want to put like i actually have the camera on a canister right now but i want to put like rice and pasta because the one that i the ones that i have i've had since our very first apartment and so i'm trying to like phase out whoa all the really old stuff to get like the pretty new stuff so these are glass, and then they just have the wooden tops. So I'll probably transition these over now. I just gotta wash them. And then what else did I buy recently? Okay, thank you. What? What else did I buy? Oh, I bought a new wooden spoon. That was pretty. I bought... Oh, yeah, the big boards so hold on these here i got one at home goods no i got both at home goods actually so i got a round one and a flat one i um was looking back at our videos and like posts from amsterdam and i was like like when we were in amsterdam sitting in the living room in our airbnb we were just like super into the decor um so she you yeah, so are you stop your shit you're a liar he's such a liar it's so annoying because he tries to make it seem like he has no say in anything and that's not true um he likes very dark moody decor um like his tattoo shop is like their bathroom is like a deep plum like he just likes really dark moody decor and our airbnb had a dark 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 teal wall with like a guitar on the it was just such a cool place and to be completely honest i am very very over the all white or the all beige or everything cream like i'm just super over it because i like color like i'm not somebody that's scared of color in any way um we used to actually have a blue couch um so i wanted to start i started looking on pinterest i'll leave my pinterest down below actually the link to my pinterest because i have all ideas that i have for like our future home like i know i definitely want like a dark bathroom like I want either like a navy blue or a green or purple or just something like rich and deep and like jewel toned um so what, what was it that I bought that I was gonna show you guys oh I got the two bowls and then I got this I'm not gonna leave this here um I might put like I don't know something on it for like the bathroom or even like soap whatever and then there's Lenny and then what else did i get i don't think i got anything else checking to see yeah like i have some stuff here like i bought this mirror so long ago and i haven't put it up because i've been saving it for like my home whenever we buy it so that's probably not gonna go up for a long 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 time and then okay we're gonna chat about something really quickly so i unfortunately had covid last year i had it in november i actually got it on voting day november 3rd hold on let me make myself a coffee so i got covid um in november and it was awful if i'm gonna be completely honest it sucks it is worse than the flu um in my case anyway thank god i didn't have to go to like the hospital or the um 
you know, anything like that. I didn't have a fever. I never had a cough. I could breathe fine. But I lost my sense of taste and my smell. Um, and it was gone for about three weeks. I got it back right before Thanksgiving. Thank God. But ever since then, my taste and smell are not the same. Um, so you guys know, this is going to be such a huge shock to you guys. Especially if you've been following me for a long time. You guys know, fragrance-wise, I hate warm scents. Vanilla, I hate it. Not anymore. So now, I don't like cologne scents. Like, COVID has completely changed my nose. It's so weird. Um, and I've talked to other people about this that have also had COVID in the past. And they say the same thing. That their sense of smell is completely different. Scents that they used to like before, they don't like anymore. Like, even colognes that I bought Tyler. Like, I bought them for him myself. Um, I smell them now and I'm like, oh my. Like, they smell like pee or like they smell like ammonia. It just... It, nothing smells the same to me anymore. I've gotten rid of a couple of my perfumes, perfumes that I love, that you know I've worn for a long time, and I just don't like them anymore. Now all I want is like really sweet smells, which if you know me, you know that is so opposite from what I like. Like I went to Bath and Body Works the other day, and all the scents that I normally love, hate. Now I like like there was one that was called like spiced caramel vanilla me and i smelled it and i was like oh my god this smells good perfume wise i'm like i want vanilla it is so weird i don't know what it is there's a specific there's like a specific note in colognes i don't know if it's the bergamot i don't know if it's vetiver i don't know what it is and it just smells like pepper like pepper steak to me it's so weird um Thankfully, my Santal, um, like, perfume, my fragrance, it smells exactly the same to me. That one hasn't changed. Um, Baccarat smells better to me now, which is really, really weird. My KKW fragrances that I love, I don't really care for anymore. My Gucci 2, I, I, that one is, like, got boosted all the way to the top, but it's a really, really sweet candy-like fragrance. So I was on YouTube the other day, hunting down... like any perfume haul or perfume re review of sweet fragrances again this is not like me at all i don't do sweet perfumes i hate them i don't like that ginger cookie bread bakery you guys know like i've always said in my house i don't like the smell of like bakery i like more woody masculine scents and i like um clean scents which i do still like clean i like floral i like all that but now like mahogany teakwood from bath uh, bath and body works absolutely not um flannel which is another really popular one disgusting i can it's so it smells so different to me and another thing that smells really weird to me as far as food there's the only thing that tastes like very very different to me is onions um i love onions i put them in all my food like i will season with onions i cook with onions all the time onions to me now the smell of them is so weird it almost smells like burnt onion like if you take an onion and just like fry the top of it that's what it smells like now and it tastes weird to me too so all that to say all that to say i purchased this oil my best friend actually put me onto this oil because she loves warm like creamy type scents so my best friend put me onto this oil and i put it on myself and i was like I don't know. This was the, this was what made me realize that I'm like into the vanilla scents now. I looked at the name. It's called Vanilla Musk, and I was like, "Girl," and she was like, "Bro, just try it," because I had told her that like my sense of smell is completely different. So I put this on and I bought it instantly. It's called Vanilla Musk. It's from a brand called Nemat. It doesn't smell like baked vanilla. It smells like real yummy, creamy vanilla, like kind of like vanilla extract. And I ended up buying a perfume of fragrance. I bought Kayali Vanilla Twenty Eight. I honestly cannot believe myself. It's so crazy. So that's just an update. This is a 15 minute, almost 16 minutes already. And that, that's my update. Um, my sense of smell is completely different. If any one of you guys had COVID at any point, let me know if yours was the same. Um, my best friend actually had COVID and didn't even know she had it, but she got tested and got had the antibodies for it. Um, and her sense of smell is different. Same thing with her. A lot of perfumes don't smell the same to her anymore. Those are the things that I... Uh, purchased i have more stuff coming from amazon tyler has no idea i want to eat something small i need like lunch or something because we have to take 
laying to the vet at eight o'clock. That's so late, but we have taken to the vet later. So yeah, I'm gonna get some work done, get my thing going, and then I'll talk to you guys later.